Hello everyone, welcome back to my class. As you know that I am Hali Minisan, Junior Lecturer of Ahlabad High School and Junior College. In today's class, we will discuss chapter 8 that is from Social Studies. Okay. Name is Rampur, a village economy. After the organization of production, now we will discuss about the labor for farm. Here, after land, labor, the next necessary and essential thing is labor only. Okay. Farming requires a great deal of hard work, obviously. Here the small farmers along with their families mostly cultivated their own fields but generally they provide a labor required for the farming themselves. Here the medium and the large farmers hire farm laborers to work on their fields. Here the farm laborers come either from the landless families or families cultivating a small plots of land. Okay. The farmers working on their own fields, farm laborers do not have a right over the crop grown on the land. Okay. Instead, they are paid wages by the farmers for whom they work. They have been employed to do the work only on that land or on that farm. After all, wages can be in cash or in kind means it may be crop also. Sometimes laborers get meals too. Wages vary widely from region to region, crop to crop and from farm activity to another farm activity. Exactly. It depends on the activities and it depends on the works and it depends on the farm and activities like sowing or harvesting. Here there is also a wide variation in the duration of employment. A farm laborers might be employed on a daily basis or on a contract for one particular farm activity like harvesting or for the whole year. Okay, small farmers or the landless farmers for example like Shivaya is a landless farmers laborers who work on other farms as a daily wages in Rampur. This means that he must be the regular look for work exactly. Here Shiva wages are less than what the Uttar Pradesh government has set as the minimum wages for laborers. There is a heavy competition for work among the farm laborers in Rampur. So the people agree to work for at a lower wages also. With the large farm increasingly relying of machines like tractors, treasures and the harvest and the number of days of work available to a worker is very low in rural areas especially in Rampur village. In the whole of the last year the Shivaya got less than the 5 months of work on the farm. During the periods when no work is available Shivaya and many like him have applied to village panchayat for work under the Magna Rega. And what is that? M G N R E G A. Here its full form is that is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act of 2nd February in 2006. Okay. After the labor for farm, now we will discuss about the capital. Capital arranging physical and working capital. Now in this topic we will see how the small farmers and the landless farmers will arrange the physical and as well as the working capital for farming, cultivating or agriculture. Okay. Here already we have discussed that how the modern farming involves the high yielding variety of seeds, assured irrigations and the fertilizers and the pesticides and etc and in turn means that the farmers require a sufficient amount of capital for production so that is money let's see how the farmers arrange for physical capital and working capital required in farming here most of the small farmers have to borrow money to arrange for the working capital so that they borrow from the large farmers or the village money lenders or from the traders who supply the various inputs for cultivation the rate of interest of such loans is 
very high. They are put on a great distress to repay the loan. Exactly. During this period, how they can arranging the capital for physical and as well as for working. Okay. For example, Savita is a small farmer. She planned to cultivate wheat on her one acre of land. Okay. Beside seeds, fertilizers and pesticides, she need cash to buy water and repair her farm instruments. Exactly. So that she estimates that work working capital itself and would have cost a minimum rupees of 6000 now here she doesn't have the money so now what she will do she decide to borrow from tejpal here tejpal is large farmer tejpal agreed to give the loan to savita but at 36 percent but at 36 per annum interest rate which is high rate for four months savita also has to promise to work on his field as a farm labor during the harvest season at rupees 100 per day see how the small farmers are facing these difficulties during the time of harvesting cultivating why because because they are very poor and they are very small piece of a land that cannot be sufficient for their livelihood and for the cultivation process so so on this basis this wage is very quit low so savita knows that she will have to work very hard to complete the harvesting on her own field and then work as a farm laborer for tejpal the harvest time is very busy time but as a mother of three children she has to lot of household responsibilities also there okay so here Savita agrees to these tough conditions as she know that getting a loan is a very difficult for small farmers. Exactly. In contrast of a small farmers, the medium and the large farmers generally have their own savings from farming only. They are able to arrange for seeds, fertilizers, pesticides and the payment for laborers etc. They can manage very easily. Here the working capital needed for farming. Okay, then how does these farmers have their own savings? We will find this answer in our next topics. Okay, so our large farmers in this village have tractors they use for ploughing and sowing their farm and hiring out these tractors to the other small farmers too okay here most of them also have treasures and own harvesters also all such farmers have many tube wells to irrigate their farmlands okay these tools and machines are all parts of physical capital for the farming purpose get it after arranging physical and working capital now we will discuss about the surplus or loss for the farmer okay here the meaning of surplus is excess or oversupply okay suppose that the farmer have produced wheat on their lands using the three factors of production they retain a part of the wheat for the family consumption and sell the surplus to the market and here the small farmers like savita okay here the small farmers like savita have a little surplus wheat because their total production is very small and for this purpose only they are not having much of the surplus so substantial share is kept for their own family first then they will think about the marketing or sell but here it is the medium and the large farmers who supply wheat to the wholesale market yard then the traders at the market buy then the traders at the market yard buy the wheat and they sell to it and they sell to it further to the shopkeepers in towns and cities here the tejpal the large farmer has 
a surplus of 350 quintals of wheat from all his lands. He sells the surplus wheat at the Raiganj at the Raiganj market yard and has good earnings. Exactly what does Tejpal do with this earning is questionable. Last year, Tejpal had put most of the money in his bank account. Later, he used the savings for lending to farmers like Savita who were in need of loan so that he also used the saving to arrange for the working capital for farming in a cultivation process in in a cultivation process for next season and this year tejpal plans to use his earnings to buy another tractor also there is a good business is in hiring out tractors in the neighboring villages Another tractor would increase his fixed capital. Exactly. Like Tejpal, the other large and medium farmers sell the suppers from the farm they produce and a part of the earning is saved and kept for buying the capital for the next season. Okay. Some of the farmers might also use the saving to buy cattle, trucks or the set up of new shops also. This continues the capital for non-farming activities. They may also buy or more land. They all these things are depend on the owner or the large farmers or the medium farmers, those who are having their earnings, great earnings. Okay. This is often a loss in the farm activities, especially when the crops are damaged because of floods and the pest, etc. The other risks in sudden fall in the price of agriculture produce. In such situations, the farmers find it difficult to recover the working capital that they had spent at that production. Okay, after the farming and the production and the agricultural activities and the distribution of land all these things after that now we will discuss about the non-farm activities in Rampur. Okay. Apart from farming which is the main production activity there are some non-farm production activities is also there. Okay. Only the 25% of the people working in Rampur are engaged in activities other than the agriculture. So the first non-farm activity in Rampur is dairy. Dairy the other common activity. Okay, In dairy the first thing is that land, labor, physical capital and working capital is there. Dairy production is a common activity in many families of Rampur. Here the people feed their buffaloes on various kind of grass and jawar and bajra fodder cultivated during the rainy season. Here the milk is sold in Raiganj. Two traders from the Changirabad have the setup collection of chilling the centers at the Raiganj from where the milk is transported to far away places such as Bulandishahar and Delhi. Okay, the production factors of activity are briefly land, labor, physical capital and working capital. In land, the own shed in the village and to labor, family labor, especially the women who look after the buffaloes. Okay, in physical capital, buffaloes purchased at the cattle fair. Okay, now in working capital, the fed from their land, some medicines are purchased. After the non-farm activities in Rampo, now we will see that, now we will discuss about the small scale manufacturing activities in Rampo. Okay. At present, the less than the 50 people are engaged in manufacturing activities in Rampo. So that the manufacturing which that take place in a big factories in the towns and cities. Here the manufacturing in Rampur involves very small production methods and is done on a small scale. Okay. Manufacturing is carried out mostly at home or in the fields with the help of family members. Okay. Or else they are called as family labor. 
okay here the laborers are rarely hired exactly when there are the members those who are working as a family labor why there is a need of the hiring other laborers so that here from this example we will understand that this the mishrilal has purchased a mechanical sugarcane crushing machine run on electricity and prepares jaggery okay here earlier the sugarcane was crushed by using bullocks but these days people prefer to do it with machines for more earnings apart from using the sugarcane machine mishrilal has cultivated sugarcane also and here he also buy the sugarcane from the farmers and process it into jaggery here the jaggery is then sold to the traders at changirabad in this process mishrilal makes a small profit for himself okay here this is a small scale manufacturing in rampur now we will see the shopkeepers of rampur here the shopkeepers of rampur they are not many people involved in trade that is exchange of goods in rampur village the traders of rampur buy the various goods from the wholesale markets in the cities and sell them in the village small general stores in the village sell a wide range of items like rice wheat sugar tea oil biscuits soap toothpaste and the batteries candles notebooks pen pencil and something even clothes also so here a few families those houses are close to the bus stand have used to a part of a space to open a small stall and small shops also here they sell eatables like tea samosa kachori namkeen sweets toffees cool drinks etc and as is the women and the children in the family share the work together and help to each other in our country a large section of a people are self employed like farmers shopkeepers hawkers etc they are the owners because they have no plan and organized and take the risk of producing goods or services as large farmers or medium farmers so that at the same time they also provide their own labor to manage the process exactly here few shopkeepers also buy goods that the villages produce and supply it to the shops or markets in the bigger villages and towns this the person running the flour mill also buy the wheat from the small farmers in the village and sell it as at a rightinch market for flouring mill and the trading are two different businesses how they are managing these businesses to earn the livelihood okay here these are the shopkeepers of rampur and they are engaging themselves in two different business for their earning after that after the shopkeepers of rampur now we will see transport a fast developing sector here a variety of vehicles on the road connecting the rampur to raiganj like rickshawalas changawalas and the jeep trackers trucks and the drivers and the people driving the traditional block carts and the bogge are in the transport service exactly and we know that how the transport is very necessary and essential for the developing and for the traveling of commodities from one place to another place okay without transport nothing will happen and how the production of goods and services will take place without transport no okay here the ferry people and goods from one place to another place and get rid the paid for it in return exactly the number of the people involved in transport has grown over the last several years for example here the kishore is a farm laborer like other laborers kishore found it difficult to meet his family's need from the wages that he received a few years back kishore took a loan from the bank which was giving a cheap loan to the poor landless households 
and among from them the Kishore brought a buffalo and among from them the Kishore is one of them. and he brought a buffalo with this money. Now he sells buffalo's milk and further he has attached a wooden cart to his buffalo and use it to transport the various items. Okay, Once in a week he goes to the river Ganga to bring the clay for potter okay or sometimes he goes to the Changirabad also with the load of jaggery and other commodities so by this every month he gets some work in the transport facilities okay in the transport services as a result Kishore is also able to earn more than what he used to use what he used to some years back exactly see how the transport is helping the small farmers to earning their uh, livelihood okay so by this we have completed our eighth chapter that is rampur the village economy through this chapter and through this topic we come to know and we have understand about the village economy and how it is developing and what are the factors and what are the natural resources that develop the rambo and the farming is the main production activity in the village these have allowed the farmers to produce more crops from the same amount of land that is called as multiple cropping okay the farming now need much more capital. The medium and the large farmers are able to use their own savings from the production to arrange the capital during the next season. And also we come to know through this topic about the Magnarega that produced and that provided some support to the income of rural workers and as well as the small farmers also. Another thing which is essential for the expansion of non-farm activities is to have the market where the goods and services produced can be sold. Okay, in Rampur, in Rampur we saw the neighboring villages, towns and cities provide the market for in Rampur, we saw the neighboring villages, towns and cities that provide the markets for milk, jaggery, wheat, etc. As more villages are connected to towns and cities through the roads and transports and the telephones and it is possible that the opportunities for non-farm production activities in village would be increasing in coming years. So, and also and about the land distribution and the farm labor and the natural resources and the factors of production and how they are producing with the help of physical capital and working capital and the surplus and the farm activities and non-farm activities all these activities and terms and the procedures and the production all we have understood throughout this chapter by this, we have completed our chapter. Thank you.